Hey guys, if you're like me, I've been doing these flying videos. I've just been in the never ending pursuit of finding a camera that can really show how amazing this flying is that we do. I mean, obviously I've got my camera on my wing, I've got one on the tail, I've got the one in here, and then I've got the little Osmo stabilized cam in here, but none of them truly do it justice. So today, I brought some friends along. I'm Trent Palmer, I fly drones for a living and bush planes for fun. Follow along as I journey off the beaten path of aviation. So I just got to the airport. I'm gonna do a quick oil change. Then we're gonna go meet a buddy of mine, Nathan. Play with his camera setup and see if it's a good one for vlogging with. Now, like many of you guys, I'm sure, I've been trying to find the right camera for shooting vlogs and YouTube content in general. You know, the right camera for me. Now, obviously, everyone's gonna have a different need for what they want out of their camera and different applications. So I've really been going through the runaround, finding out what's best. And now, I've shot on everything from small little action cams to DSLRs to larger camcorders and even cinema cameras. And I still have yet to find the perfect camera all around. So, so the goal today is to explore some different options and maybe go a little overboard. If you saw the title, then you know that this one's gonna get wild, but different camera options for shooting vlogs. Now I just got to Minden, going to meet my buddy who's got some cameras for us to play with today. What's up, Nathan? What's up, Trent? Yeah, good seeing you. Good seeing you as well. Ooh, look at that bad boy. Now Nathan is wiring up his GSS 516. It's made by Gyro Stabilized Systems. It's a, what is it, five axis? Five axis. It's a five axis gyro stabilized camera head that allows him to put the best cinema cameras out there on it. So Nathan owns a company called Incline Dynamic Outlet. He shoots aerials or ground stuff. Basically, he takes that camera system and rents it out and he shoots on Whatever hires. This one actually just came off Deadliest Catch. They'd run one on the helicopter, one on a chase boat, and that's the stuff that you're seeing on the Discovery Channel. GSS, you know, really allows for the ultimate flexibility in stabilized cameras. Put it on a helicopter, put it on a razor. I can go and change out a camera in 10 minutes. There's no other system in the world that allows me to do that and have this flexibility with this lightweight of a compact camera. That does not look lightweight to me. <laughs> I mean, comparable cameras that are 150 pounds. This is 93 pounds right here. The best part about the system is the ability to go and, and rig it here in, you know, 30 minutes and then off we could go and chase Trent around in a razor. And he mounts this thing on his Polaris razor too, which is just like the coolest thing. I actually want to build a mount for the plane because that would be awesome just because, I mean, this is obviously more flexible, but costs a little more to run than the Kit Fox. <laughs> so, this is ridiculous. This is a, a red, what, what is this? It's, it's a weapon, but it's the Monstro 8K, big sensor, big everything, huh? Yeah, it's the, it's the VistaVision sensor. It is. IMAX quality aerials. Oh my God, this thing's a monster. Monster, <laughs> Monstro, 
No pun intended. So the difference, for those that don't understand, the body on this camera, it, which is still a red weapon body, it, this one just has a different sensor. This has the Monstro. It's a bigger sensor than full frame. It's basically an IMAX sensor, correct? It's almost the same size as IMAX, just missing a little bit on the top. But here, if we look on the inside... The one in here is a 6K sensor, obviously still more than 4K like what we're shooting right now. So, the big question, how much? How much for which one? Well, let's talk about both. So, like Italia lenses, 214000 for a set. $214,000 for the lenses, just for the glass? Just for the glass. Holy God. And then what about the body for the, the Vista Vision Monstro? Uh, Vista Vision Monstro is $80,000. <laughs> so single lens and the body for this little guy. 120, 120 grand. And how much for the, how much for the gimbal? Uh, all said and done for a gimbal to, to be running like this, you're about 700, 750,000. Woo. Looks like we're at just shy of a million for the camera and gimbal on this helicopter. Helicopter use, 1.5 million, so we're looking at about two and a half million dollars uh, to get the shot. One, two, two, seven, five, air to air or something like Whatever that? you want, or we'll go five fingers or something. Five fingers, yeah. Either works. Good. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Because we're talking and, to each other and uh and then normally with how it would it'll work on this one i'm guessing you guys will be chasing me for a majority of the time yes, so i'll will. just take lead you guys fly yep. off me tell me where you're at because i can't see you most of the time absolutely now we'll keep yeah. you in sight we'll be at your six and then kind of moving between seven and five and, and uh yeah good communication and... yeah do you want me at six one to out. one compression trend no put it at like 10 to one well i already have like it's an hour 55 of record on one terabyte what's going on youtube yeah we're going to put in 4k no, 6K okay. for YouTube, dude. 6K YouTube, 10 to 1 compression. Yeah. I mean, can you... Do you want 2398 or 2997? 2398. Okay. Can you do proxies, 4K, just ProRes proxies? Shit, if you can just shoot those, I'd rather those than the... I'll, I could ship proxies for you, but I'm going to shoot raw so I can have <laughs> access to, to some stock. <laughs> what size card are you on? Are you on one of those 960s? No, I'm on, I'm on the old version, the one terabytes. <laughs> I got 40 more gigs. I'm not, I don't want this much data. Okay, big problem number one, I already see with this camera. You're running on one terabyte cards. Oh and yeah, well you only, you only get like one hour of flight time for one card. Ugh. So, hard drive space, gotta kiss that goodbye. Well, the, the dollar per, per second goes up with <laughs> that. <laughs> and the best part to me right now is that somehow I became the director because uh, I want this footage for YouTube. <laughs> So I don't know of anyone else that's ever got to shoot with a, a full-size helicopter and gimbal system for their YouTube video. Okay, ready when you are. All right, Minden traffic, Freedom Fox taking runway 34 and Alpha 2 uh, via right cross when turnout eastbound. Minden. Swapping fingers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I'm up. Yeah, we're up. Yep, we're going to get right on here. And, uh, ready when you are. No, I'm just going to drop down on this river for a sec. Exact same uh, page. You got that wire right below you. Roger that. So that part of the canyon's no good. I didn't see any since that last set that we talked about. Have you? Nope. So what do you think about just turning around here and running that other part back, and then we'll go hit that dirt strip? Yeah, sounds good.
there's a spot with the other power lines. So I'm gonna climb. to do this. I'm flying 30 feet off the deck out in the desert, Nevada, with a two and a half million dollar helicopter and camera system right there. You can probably see them out that window. It's just insane. If that looks anywhere near as cool as I think it does, this is gonna be amazing. How was it? Oh, it was great, Trent. How was it for you? That was fun. Dude, it was so fun. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> you know, I mean, for vlogging, like, it doesn't really get much better than this, I don't think. <laughs> no, the only downside I see with vlogging with that is just this. It's just, it's just dollar signs. <laughs> we were chucking money left and right. If I had this kind of money, then I could do How much is it to rent your setup per day? It's about 9,300 per day. 9,300 a day. How much per hour on the heli? Uh, heli goes from anywhere between 2,000 and up per hour. So if we were on the conservative end, that hour that we just spent was $11,000. Yeah, about that. <laughs> That's why it's impractical as a vlogging camera, but just epic as like a flying camera. I mean, it doesn't really get much better than this. Today's been pretty special. I mean, <laughs> gonna go chase around one of my good friends doing some awesome flying that we normally don't get to do. Yeah. <laughs> hey, nice flying, dude. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, you too. All right, guys. So that was ridiculous. Obviously, that camera is way overkill for vlogging, but what a good time. So anyway, you guys know the drill. Subscribe if you haven't. Like this video. See you on the next one.